I live a life on the road, which can sometimes be scary, but it's always an adventure. This is a little insight and recap into my life. This is Case of the Nomads. I've climbed the mountains in Montana Danced in the lights of New Orleans Portland ran away with me And San Francisco stayed with me Nashville made its way in between Fell in love in Minnesota and Fell apart south of Salt Lake Never change, but I wanna know how it feels to hang pictures on a wall. Sleep in the same. I twisted in the chair. I'm here right there right now. I'm sticking my finger in the Everyone here knows a lot more than they think they do, and they're a lot more competent than maybe they believe they are. And the need for bringing communities together that are living on the road. <laughs> so, yeah, so why so, a oh, why, specific mm -hmm. event? are very specific things to women living on the road that they want to talk about. One thing that I was hearing is that women wanted a um, safe and comfortable space to explore conversations that were women specific. Women organized workshops and hearing from women entrepreneurs. Seems to be a growing number of women who are traveling solo too and craving meeting other women who travel solo because it's such a unique experience. It's really special to be able to talk about that with people in person. From like toilets to periods on the road to contracting UTIs and how to best manage that. And someone was like, see, this is why we need these <laughs> events because we're not going to talk about this in a co-ed space. And that's just yeah. the honest truth. This is amazing. I'm going to sing you some songs I wrote. Most of them were written in the van. Some of them were written in the Buick. <laughs> It says, baby, baby, baby. There's connections that are made that mm -hmm. just organically happen. Some women who were traveling with a partner really thought this was an incredible experience to leave their partner yeah. for a weekend <laughs> and just have this solo time that they might not normally have. When you're a female and you say that you travel on the road, everyone asks, well, how are you going to keep yourself safe? And so I think it's been nice. It's been a nice reprieve for people to not have to address that question in this space or to address it in like, how do we answer that? And, you know, what have been your experiences and how do we further that conversation? We never want it to be about us. We're not experts, so when we were leading sexism and safety on the road, we were like, we want everyone else to be a resource, and we want to listen to other people. It's important to raise our young men uh, in all of this, as it is to raise our young women. So just keeping an eye out for those young men in your lives so that you can influence, and you can just show them, like, hey, I'm a kick-ass woman, I've built up my own man. Like, yeah. make sure they see that. Um, I'd say for me, the biggest hurdle, I mean, I already spoke to this a little bit, um, but it was financial, like the fear of going out there and like knowing that you can support yourself uh, was a really hard thing for me to believe. <laughs> Thinking about the different ways people travel, live on the road, don't live on the road, or are, you know, we had women who were older, women who were younger, um, women just who came from lots of different places in the country. about people coming here and they create the event.